What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying a really interesting idea. This is the Garg Synergy deck with Immortitia. If you know uh, from this channel, the best Immortitia decks probably are the ones that control for a long time and then teleport in strong late game cards. Uh, favorites are usually going to be really late game cards like Zombot. Um, you're going to be controlling a long time for a Trickster. Some of the decks are going to run things like Nursing Garg and Garg Throwing Garg. Uh, we're actually going to lower the curve today. We're running all the same early game control, but instead we're running sort of a Garg package. And this is sort of an excuse to experiment with some cards that have Garg synergy. Uh, the Smashing Garg will be making all of your Gargs have Frenzy. This will be making all your Gargs have Bullseye. Uh, Supernova Garg actually does synergize with other Gargantuars on the field because they all get its ability of uh, being able to destroy a copy of something, destroys all of them around the field, and then of course the uh, Garg Throwing Garg is going to be throwing more Gargs around the field. Very good card to teleport in late in the game because this puts a big body and then also does something, you know, it makes a lot of other big threats around the field. Uh, so we're going to be controlling in the early game with Cheese Cutter, which is a control card you place on the field. It's a must-answer card. It absorbs the early game threats. Uh, we have Nibble to be reducing some uh, attack and health from guys. Very good answer to things like Admiral Navy being in the water lane. It also heals you for a little bit. Extinction Event. Also a very decent control card. We're running three rockets since we don't have to control for quite as long as the other ones. They usually run four. Uh, Rocket Sciences will be running three. We also have Evaporate, which could work as, you know, a fourth removal card. Uh, we're running a couple environments just to control. And then it's just Teleports and Gargs. Uh, running a few Paracels. Now, you could play this on turn four and then play a Gargantuar next to it on turn five. Uh, probably better is to control on turn four, teleport some, a Garg in on five or six, and then plop this next to it after you've already teleported it in. Uh, if you've already teleported this in, it does five damage, and then you play the Parasol um, the next turn, let's say on turn seven, so then you're also able to use tricks to be able to remove their cards, and the Parasol will protect uh, your cards from, uh, you know, Shamrocket and Doomstrom. So we're pretty good in that regard. So let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. This is a very interesting um, little bit of deck. This is a control deck, so I'm going to do eight games today. So if you think this deck will win, six out of eight vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. Really interested to see if Wizard Garg and Smashing Garg can be viable. I feel like this, if there's going to be a deck that, that shows that they are actually, I'm not going to, not going for top tier, but at least viable strategic cards, then I think this is the one. Um, so that's okay. I think the, another early game control card is better than Parasol here. Let's try not to fall too far behind. And yeah, man. So that's an early, very interesting placement for the Forget-Me-Nots being on the ground. He's playing pretty heavily into Acid Rain. We also have this uh, total Eclipse environment in case he places, plays another one. Very, very strange by this guy. Do I want the superpower charge? I think I'm gonna just do this. Honestly, the environment there might have been better because it sort of negates this lane a bit. That's okay. We're just controlling for now. We can actually, we might be able to exploit this garlic later. Maybe playing this on the ground was better to absorb environments at this stage of the game. So, easy pass. We can go 2 plus 2, maybe. Yep, yeah, that's a good play. 2, then this dies. And then we're actually able to answer the Triceratops. Not only keeping the health up on the teleportation zombie, but uh, killing this big threat that's growing. So that's nice. We got Star Slur. A little bit of card draw. We could probably teleport in Supernova. If he's shrinking Violets here, I think so be it. Um... Otherwise, we should be able to play Supernova Gargan 4 and kill that Starch Lord basically for free. So it does one damage? Who cares? No! Oh, it already got Acid Rain, so it doesn't do one damage. Okay. Did he conjure this? He did? 
So I am going to... This is uh, interesting. We want to kill the Star Lord. The cool thing is that if we get another guard, we can kill the what the imitator turns into, plus the Im you know the imitator itself next turn. It'll actually be a two for one. We don't, we don't get a guard, unfortunately. If he plays a big card, card I guess we'll just rock it in here. The Spikeweed Sector is a cool lane to put the uh, guard launcher into. Is getting a block right now good, or is saving is saving the blocks? I'm gonna do it like this. I think making the next shot be able to get blocked is better. We don't really need any of our superpowers. Summoning bats evaporate. There's uh, more guards. <laughs> Guys, we have guard synergy. This is cool. It's just we have two teleportation zombies on the field right now. One's protected by a gravestone, so we are going to smashing. We are gonna, we're gonna garg throw and garg in two. That's a very cool play by him. Uh, we actually have a little decision to make here. Oh, uh, never mind. I was thinking of doing the, actually smashing garg would kill one, two, three, four cards. <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna be. To play. It's just gonna be the, the guard turn guard. Has to be great. Uh, opponent only has two cards. They healed a bunch that turn. All the little buddies, but we're way ahead here. They're actually down to 10 now. We are in very, very good shape. So, if he removes the 1-5, we don't have a whole lot to do. Parasol's curve is awkward. I might as well just play the Smashing Garg. Instead of teleporting it. Parasol doesn't really do much here. Just in case he has a Shrinking Violet for the teleportation zombie. These all become Frenzy, though. Big threats, we got a rocket too, in case he plays anything too annoying. And, well, we have Nibble. Uh, so what's more important, nibbling and activating this Garg, or preventing him from getting superpowers, which we could do next turn. Uh, Nibble... Nibble will, will make this all go fast. Uh, I think the Nibble's the better play. Doesn't matter which one. You know, he'll have one superpower as opposed to we'll have a 5-1 on the field and five more damage to space, and he doesn't have a 4-4. Four, four. I think that's all worth more than one superpower. We can always rocket this in the next turn. I'll just stick a parasol on the field here. Conjure tricks. I'm untrickable. It's just going to be lethal anyway here. Yup. Goodbye. Easy first game. Deck seems to be pretty good. The Smashing Guard, again, would have been as good as Supernova Guard. Seems like Supernova Guard because of the stats. I kind of wish Smashing Guard was more like a 5-7. I feel like then it would be more comparable to Supernova Guard. They're all right. I think you die smiley for 37 months. We got a lot of new timers here, so welcome all you new people to the stream. Gonna look for just a little more early game. I think keeping one late game card when you have three early games is, uh, fine. Uh, don't make the mistake of playing this <laughs> on heights against Wall Knight. I know Spikeweed Sector, but the bigger threat on turn one is Colonel Pult. Gotta play around that on heights, man. Colonel Pult would answer this very well if it was on heights. Now, uh, I think we just win the game. Uh, I'm gonna go double cheese cutter on the grounds. If he has a Spikeweed, he has one. We can actually use the Acid Rain to make good trades now, and this is just ridiculous. I mean, Desperation, Wall Knight Super, just to prevent the card draw here, but... This guy's in so much trouble. If you get cheese cutters they don't have answers for, I don't know what this guy gonna do. He ain't gonna do nothing, man. Doing nothing. So, the option of Extinction Event is better than Teleportation Zombie here. I'd rather set this up on 4 to teleport something on 5 anyway. What is more useful, a second extinction event or a single acid rain? We're going to use one to kill the ramp here. 
I think the extinction events just give more value later. It's more of a versatile card, so I'm gonna spend the Acid Rain. I know that having a one cost card is sometimes more versatile, and we do have two of these, but nonetheless. Extinction event overall, if we're just gonna be looking for a lot of value against this Wall Knight. Uh, very cool cards, we got some ramp and we got some uh, a bonus attack. So it's gonna be two, and then either extinction event or uh, Cryobrain. I probably should have played a little bit harder for Cryobrain there. I think that might have been a mistake. Uh, don't really need to extinction event here. I think I'm just gonna Cryobrain and Call of Day. We'll use this together with the Supernova Garg next turn. We should draw here. So much card draw. If he has catch-up mechanics for, for days, he'll be able to stay in the fight, but I mean, we're just gaining so much value and card advantage and everything. So, we have plays in case he removes the 1-5. It's kind of unlikely he has a hammer exactly, or, I don't know, squash. Looks like the parasols are not being as useful as I thought they would be because the lanes seem to not be as open in this deck as I thought. I could probably remove the parasols for, you know, Bounty Hunter or something like that. Let's see. Let's give it a chance. There's nothing he can really do about this. I'm actually going to try to draw out the Wall Knight in lane 1 before I use this lunchbox. It's just proccing the block. It'll draw us a whole extra card from this cheese cutter. Yup, Jebaited, Jebaited, get wrecked, bro. Get wrecked. Free damage, free kids didn't do anything now. Completely negating a superpower. I guess he drew a card off of it, but who cares? Yes! <laughs> I love doing stuff like that. Ah, love it. So much damage from the Supernova Gari. Uh, Parasol. Parasol again here. I don't know, man. The lanes. Uh, Cyborg could be good instead of the Parasol. Have a little bit stronger removal. I haven't really faced anything too aggressive on the other side that we've been low on control. I feel like we've been kind of dictating the pace of these games. Uh, that's interesting. We can keep the parasol alive. It's probably correct. Uh, and then we'll crab rain. Might as well. A little sad getting cry over in there. Let's see if we can get something with a little more value from this. Uh, let's get a King of the Grill, which is a card I kind of wanted to run in the stack. Of course he blocked that, so that's a whole nother card down. This is a big problem, is the fact we've been kind of drawing, you know, cryobrains or nothing from our cheese cutters. This guy's been blocking, like, <laughs> a lot. I don't know, man. Just Paracel. Makes him not able to do cheap removal, and I don't know. It's not a lot of a threat, though. I would really love if this cheese cutter could hit face here. He's probably going after it. No, he's going after the 3-6. The card draw is what we need to stay in the game. I don't think he knows that, though. Is he going to let my cheese cutter tap his face this turn? Is that what's going on? Should I extinction event this card? See, this is when we need the Garg face. <laughs> Okay. What is the play here? So if we extinction event, this will actually win the trade. I think this is alright. But he's letting my cheese cutter hit face. This is an absolute terrible... He, the only thing this guy has is card advantage. And he's throwing it away. I'll save the nibble. That's all he's got. Come on, Garg Feast. <laughs> I've never actually wanted Garg Feast from Cheese Cutter, but... We're good. Where's all of our late game? We have so many Gargs in the stack. Okay, there's one. 
I'll try to teleport it in and see what happens, man. Astro would be rough. We have plenty of plenty of value cards. <sighs> Got a core. This is so bad. We got a you know two cost card. Really weak. No, there's no real ways of buffing small minions here. If you can buff this, it's good. He got Captain Cucumber out of nowhere. Okay, we have a nibble. I'm really happy I saved the nibble for this. Certainly not the reason I saved that nibble, but he's still letting this hit face. Crazy, and this will reduce his cards. So that's a really important nibble. Here's five to face, and then here's one, but it's. More importantly, a card. Oh my gosh, we're getting two twos and two ones from this. Come on, man! I don't need brains. I don't. I don't need any of this stuff. I need value. So the 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 the, the garg throwing garg is really good. Again, he's probably not going to have an answer to the O4. So garg throwing garg actually spawns two here. Let's not let him know about it. Garg throwing garg in two also could just win. It baits Shamrocket. I'm gonna do a couple more games with the Paracel. Woohoo! <laughs> See now, guys, here's the situation. <laughs> guys, we're in a little bit of a pickle here because we could just win. <laughs> we could just win with Garth throwing Garth. <laughs> like two, but I mean, between me and you guys, if we're being completely honest, <laughs> what fun would that be? What fun would that be? It wouldn't be fun at all. That's the real answer. Go, Garg throwing Garg. I'm throwing. <laughs> Actually, is it guaranteed lethal any? Oh, it's guaranteed lethal anyway. Guys, it was fancy or guaranteed lethal because it always throws water lane and it's always, it's always deep sea Garg. Going out in style. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, 2 0. Where did I am again? Yeah. Let's do let's do another game or two and I'll I'll probably take out what's not working. The parasol sleep that I mean the cheese cutters took over that game. I think the parasol is something a little stronger. I can even just run King of the Grill instead of Parasol for real. King of the Grill's the real control. Looking for a third early game card, but it's okay. <laughs> so, his superpowers basically all answer this. Honestly, though, drawing out a Godify or a Mog on turn one is a win. We're not going to play this on Heights. We have environments on ground. We also have a other stuff going on. Uh, this could play potentially around a Shrinking Violet. Also, let's Paracel be in middle lanes. Should probably be planning a little better for these Paracels. So if he has Mog, it's so sad. Because I can just turn back and she's got her turn to the teacher. Freeze. That's good. I love how he's pressured. It's nice how we have like the answer to Rotobega in our hands. I don't know, he's gonna play next turn. This evaporate, you kinda just use it whenever. Evaporate's so sad with the Morticia for real. She doesn't do damage. She doesn't like have a bungee plumber or a conga or something to damage guys. I guess that's a justification for having cheese cutter. Is that it enables you to not brick your evaporates because otherwise you just got teleportation zombie that does little bits of damage. Deck is good. I, again, this is teleport zombot with earlier win conditions. You know what I mean? Obviously, our win conditions are not as strong as teleport zombot, but teleport zombot doesn't go wrong. Oh my gosh, she's got his inning phase. Hell yeah. Hopefully, give us some uh, mid range <laughs> cards here. Ramp is interesting. Set up a ramp. What? We could get Wizard Gargan. He doesn't have a superpower. I mean, not playing this right now is crazy, but if we play it on turn four, we'll have five. Never mind. I'm playing this. 
Play around shrinking violet next one. But yeah, that's two cheese cutters now that he's not... If the opponent didn't have any ones or twos last turn, they're not going to have them this turn either. And we have the easy answer to that. Thank you, Cal Glenn, for 30 months. Are you kidding me? Zero cost egg. Zero cost egg. That's a miracle. We have we top deck a teleport too. You understand how good that teleport is because it means we can teleport this card in now instead of just playing it. That's insane. And it, it works after the egg trans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The conjures. The conjures are real. I think we go like tele. I mean, this will give us two more. It's very unlikely to get value from Garg throwing Garg here, so we'll just go for, for Wizard. We can also teleport this in? Gosh. Go. 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 Survey says, Flag Zombie. Okay, so it's more ramp now. La 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 la. Okay, so teleport. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh. More teleports. That's exactly what we need, by the way. We'll put this in one for six damage bullseye. It's harsh, guys. Harsh. We don't even need the Garg Launcher, though. Nothing's doing damage to this. We'll put it in later. The Wizard for Bullseye is way better. So now we have one cost teleportation zombie. Six cost Garg Launcher. We also have, like, just removal. Not a terrible card in a deck like this. Just see, it just clears lanes, man. So it's definitely you. Can we can we kill this somehow? I can't really do anything. Nibbles. Oh no, we can. Oh yeah, we can. It's guaranteed lethal, easy. <laughs> Guys, that was crazy. That was insane. That was insane. That's highly cop boys. Holy crap! Cheese cutter, man. It was all cheese cutter. Oh, that was nuts. That was nuts. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, I was selected by Google to, to... For like Google Docs, they have AIs that are doing things. They want me to sign up. Did it, They said I'm one of the few special people selected. Did you guys... Did you guys get that too? Am I really that special? I don't feel special because of that. To test their products for free and give them feedback for free. I don't, know. I don't feel special. That was game that was game three, right? Damn. God dang you. One more game and we'll we'll maybe make some uh, changes to this day. Na 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 na. And conjure nebula and egg and top deck teleport. Go. Guys, go to Google Docs and see if they ask you to sign up. Man, I, we're actually in the age now. It's the AI age. This is everything is going to be crazy. I'm scared. Legit scared. AI can make set 5 for PvC heroes. Okay. This is going to be crazy, guys. I think scientific research is going to speed up because they're going to have machine learning scientific research with just like an electronic human genome. It's going to be pretty nuts. Um, is this good? We can teleport this in on too, actually. Not terrible. Keep Supernova Guard. Right, this looks pretty good. We've got summoning. Got a lot of things to do on turn one, so I'll teleport in the cheese for turn two. Hey, 
Arc <laughs> smashing. <laughs> We're, smashing Arc is totally a meme still in the stack, right? Okay, congratulations. You are very special indeed. Uh, doesn't really matter, right? Free cards! Oh, techie. So maybe I'll summoning turkey to get the synergy here. It's not a bad play, summoning nibble turkey. Let's summoning on heights and see what we get. Uh, you could probably make a really good trade with this between the turkey and the <laughs> oh my god nice try though nice try to drive pod are you kidding me summoning gargologist in this deck in this deck there's no freaking way that just happened bros there is no Freaking way. Holy moly with that Gargologist. Come on, man. Alright, so now here comes turn four. <laughs> I'll save the turkey for next turn. We'll even get better. Are you freaking kidding me, man? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, I don't care. You know, uh, uh. <laughs> well, it's gonna die, but it's good enough. Good enough. I think just the summoning goes in the. Gross. God damn it. Evaporate? Oh, that would have been so good. This will allow us to extinction next turn, but... Also puts this on a shorter clock. Thinking cap, cool. Honestly, these two are more value uh, than a Garg, because we'll rocket whatever card is buffed by this, and then we can extinction event and get that out of the way. <laughs> Scripted. Huh? Rocket. Damn, damn, we're kicking it here, man. Bye, Monsieur. I know that was slowly dying, but we don't want him playing like 2 yeah, He's just like, nah. He's like, no. No. He was so happy he got the buffs, man. <laughs> just said nothing, man. Yes! Alright, we're 4 0. I'm gonna go with my gut and actually change the parasol. The question is, what should we change it for? You know what? This deck is doing so well. Let's meme. Time to meme, guys. I think the Smashing Garg is a joke. Should I just get rid of that? Because now it's too much late game. The Smashing Garg, really, it's not. It's not. But we can add, like, some extra... You know, at this point, when you have fewer, fewer fives, it does actually make Cyborg better because these five-drop cards that it creates actually become useful as opposed to it always... They're always being a better option on turn five. Now, not necessarily. This could actually give us our five-drop think that's the better deck sneezing sneezing ain't a bad uh, ain't a bad idea either <laughs> we really don't have enough cutoff though for earlier for turn four well but we added this well okay it's fine it's fine we basically took out two parasols and added in two cyborgs and then we got rid of the two smashing and the third parasol for three king of the girls i think this will be more fun I want some King of the Grill synergy, guys. This is the Garg synergy deck, okay? We're not gonna... If I'm gonna get rid of one Garg synergy, I will add another. King of the freaking Grill. Keep a rocket against Mega Grill. Things go. So... 
If we get an early game control card, we'll go for the teleport cheese cutter. If not, I probably would play this as the control card. It's just nice to be able to teleport this in. Actually, against Black Eyed P, teleporting this in is not very good. More smashing? Just run Zamba. I'm kind of trying to really focus on an earlier curve in. Hopefully no Black Eyed P. Which is probably the most common card for turn two. For Green Shadow. Easily the most common, right? Teleport. We anyway need to start drawing into our late game here. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we get the cheese going. Roll to three. We got an early uh, card that we're running in our deck anyway. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Okay, well, this is just becoming out of control at this point. Um, <laughs> go! I think I'm just gonna summoning. Ah, uh, maybe I should have played for Captain Cucumber. It's okay. I think I don't summoning because I want both of these to hit. We'll just extinction the cucumber next turn. And I'm the second card. Keep the cheese going. Don't California roll here though. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! God damn it! <laughs> the blocks have been so crazy today. That was a Cali roll, right? Okay, bro. God damn it. Uh, I like the summoning into this and then into just extinction. Play another, uh... Wow, he's so annoying. Okay. Bruh. Uh, play this for Quasar or Doge. We'll play it next to the card. Mini Ninja ain't bad. Give him one of these. And this, this, you know. It, we win the trade here, actually, so that's pretty good. It's also 5 damage. Okay. We end up with a 3-1 that draws cards. A 5-2. And it's just gonna keep on going. Hell yeah. So what do we play here? The King of the Grill is better to teleport in front of something so it can draw. So we're probably just spam dry Supernova Garg here. It's three huge threats on the field, and Green Shadow, not a good control hero. Five suns to deal with them. <laughs> all of this. It's like, what are you gonna even do? And we'll teleport in the King of the Grill next turn. Honestly, Brainatna into Supernova Garg su sucks, so we should be okay here. Cryo Brain, I feel like, is more important. I didn't address that in the intro, so thanks for the question, Stumpy. Cryo Brain is more of a card that I would run when you're running Zomba, because again, the whole challenge of Teleport Zomba is they cost 9, together with Teleport, that's turn 10. Having that happen sooner is really important, because really, any plant deck worth half a pound of salt is going to be able to really just start doing tons of damage on turns 5, 6, 7, and you're not always necessarily going to have enough rocket sciences and everything else in order to control that. Um, in this deck that the win conditions are coming in earlier, I think Cryo Brain is less important. Having, you know, two Cryo Brains maybe instead of the Cyborgs could be okay. This guy's just gonna concede. He can't handle it, man. I want the King of the Grills going, though. I'm gonna BM by adding a card into a deck. I want to be able to play it. That's all I'm trying to say. I want to be ninja since the chat's telling me I have to sing that song every time we see ninja. Someone's saying they're digging into the game code and you're more likely, likely slightly to run a 2 than a 1 or a 3. I would have to see a screenshot or it didn't happen. That's what I say to that, man. I don't believe it. I roll three is enough to, to know that it's at least equally likely. Um, do I keep Supernova here? I feel like we really need like a, a one drop. Ugh. Right, well, we got it. Total Eclipse covered like an environment that one turn. That's pretty good. You know, we've only gotten it a couple times. It answered. Honestly, Total Eclipse has been really good, because the times we got it, the first time it killed, like, a Forget-Me-Nots and just negated, like, a whole lane. Um, the second time... 
The second time, it, it destroyed a Solar Winds, which we otherwise would not have had an answer to. Okay. You know what this deck is really good against? Pine Clone. We're running four Extinction and four Supernova. I think we need to burn this for a card here. Getting a cheese cutter right now. <laughs> Incredible. I'll save the second teleport. You gotta really save teleports in this deck. Just a little worried here. Really interesting that he spammed this. He might be going for buff shroom. I'm taking another teleport. Uh -huh. I think this is probably worth it. It'll give us another card. It takes a mushroom off the field. I wonder if I should be playing a round pine clone for next turn, and I think the answer is that yes, I should have actually done this the other way around. Now that I'm deciding to actually play around pine clone. Maybe the, the superpower is, is cool though, so maybe getting the... I don't know. Okay, well, we got the answer to Pine Clone, so I think we're pretty good. <laughs> that department. Oh my gosh, we have <laughs> field clear. Come on, please be, be Psycho Pine Clones. Just, okay, well... <laughs> I don't think I'm playing this correctly. Oh, there's Buff Shroom. Damn. Uh... <laughs> I should probably keep one of these. Well, I think the summoning kills this. I'm gonna summoning first, see what we get. That's fine. No block meter. Which one of these are more important? This blocks four damage and then kills the guy. It's pretty Uh, looks like it's just gonna be teleports and guard launchers, which again, there's no brainanas or anything we have to worry about. So we should be pretty good. I probably should burn one of these teleports here for a card. Because we, we just need more answers. Okay. Nibble, 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 nibble. Opponent's healing, who cares? The question is, who cares? We got answers, though. That's all we got is answers. We should be replaying like this, like a really traditional late game. You know, you even run Garg throwing Garg in some versions of the late game in Morticia. The same in Control and Morticia decks. For real, bro? Okay, well, we can use the rocket at least. <laughs> Come on, man. So... Rocket... Gig Extinction... Like this, I think. And then Acid Rain, just to uh, cool the damage down a little bit here. So I could just throw... We don't really have much to do other than throw one of these. We're going to have to throw one of them on the field anyway eventually, right? See if the opponent's running a removal card. If they are, you know, it costs at least four. It'll be okay. Uh, Cobb Cannon. Damn. No, not Cobb. Oh boy, we, do we want this to go face. Ramification time. Okay. Oh, we're really low in health, though. I don't like it. Okay. Sheesh, well, we gotta teleport. Oh, man. There's some actual synergy here because this does splash damage. It'll hit our guy for one and actually make a free guard here. Which is pretty awesome. That's exactly what we want to see as a play in lane one because now we block all this damage. The Garg always does 5 damage in lane 2. We're in really good shape here. Real good shape. This is going to be a full field of Gargs. Uh, it's got to be like this. We can't have this going face. Uh, this is also just 3 Gargs. So, 3 Gargs for the price of 1, babies. Here we go. 
Deep Sea always is in the water. We'll see what we get in the land. Supernova Guard, I'll take it. Yeet! That's five damage. We find more. And we still have a teleport. A teleport's really all we need to stick this out. Now we just have to not. Honestly, our win condition is not getting Barry blasted in the face for for and him rolling a one. <laughs> it's literally no 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 no. I have to shut my mouth. Oh my god. Oh my. God. I jinx that every time. I jinx that every time. God damn it. Oh man. Um, uh, man. <laughs> We're five and one. Guard launcher was too slow. Too slow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to the fail count. We've got some highlight city today. This deck is really fun. I love this deck. I'm probably going to be playing this deck offline because it's really fun. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. We got. I'm looking for my earlier win conditions and stuff. This is pretty good against Captain. It's very sad that he has, like, click peas on one. I should probably have answer, though, to um, Blooming Heart. I'm just terrified of Captain Combustible in general. <sighs> No, the Total Eclipse is fine. I kind of misplayed it that game. But I should have held it. It would have actually killed those shrooms more efficiently. But anyway. Yes! See, like, that worst case scenario, this trades with Click B. Best case scenario is that he just doesn't have a one drop and that happens. I think I'm actually going to go for, um... For extinction here, because he has to cover this with something, it'll make a good trade. Even Black IP, it's probably worth it to extinction here. <laughs> Biggest enemy is myself, exactly. Oh, I didn't play around Berry Blast though. I should have. Against past turn one Captain Combustible, you always play around Berry Blast. Was that an error? Pretty good play though. We gotta have this grow, so I'm gonna play it instead of teleporting you. Know? It's a threat. Damn. It was unfortunate. We have the lug, you know, teleportation zombie is a really good card against Captain Gabusbo. He'll need two removal cards or he spent a very blessed too, so. Uh, we'll be able to answer this stuff. Can teleport in the other one too. Yeah. Uh, that... This is interesting. So we can kill... There's two plays here. We can Extinction Event this one. The other play is to Extinction this and then Teleport in Teleportation Zombie. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to go with. Because the Captain Cucumber would otherwise be making this grow. It doesn't draw a card now. This doesn't grow. It kind of dies for free. The Captain Cucumber is still a threat next turn, but we're going to start playing Supernova Guard and stuff. We'll be okay. <laughs> you always teleport in here, for sure. Oh, show. We'll pro we might, like, evaporate this next turn. It's, it's a Conjure deck. You know, you don't run Cosmic Mushroom ever, but he's trying to do special. Conjure Synergy. Okay, here's. So it's super... Nova. I was trying to think, is there a difference between these two lanes? I guess if this is dead, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess if the wizard garg wants to go here, though. Hmm. Use another berry blast, it makes this better. 
We'll just play the, uh... We'll just play for the... We have the Evaporate Rocket this turn if he somehow deals with the 1-4 anyway. Which is a good play. We really just need damage. This should have actually gone here. It's a mistake. So, uh, he's growing that too. Why? Because oh, he wants to kill this. So we could Wizard... Which does six bullseye to face, but then what? I think it's better to just evaporate in Supernova Garg in four. I wonder if Supernova Garg in two is better? No. Great. Nibble! Does that do anything? Uh... I hope I'm not screwing this whole game up here. Right now, this is such a huge threat. I'll, I'll, I'll stick the cheese cutter on this, just to be able to play around plant food and stuff. This is a major problem, though, the untrickable. Meteor? Arvus. Arvus. It just plays around, you know, 12 damage plant food, and we still have the wizard guard on deck. Pretty good here. Nibble actually kills both of these now if he doesn't grow the potato. Nibble Rocket. Nibble Rocket looks like it's good. This. We're so sad. He's trying to go for a buff. I think we're good. I think Nibble, Nibble Rocket's going to close this game out. What? Three attack card? Nibble, still Nibble Rocket. Look at this play. And now that this Potato Saurus is dead, I mean, we're 20 health against Captain Combustible. We have some block meter charge. We've healed a little bit. So we accomplished that. That Nibble came in clutch, though. Okay. Teleport, yes. It just means the place Teleport Wizard. I don't know, man. He doesn't have superpowers, too. Repeat Moss combo doing 20 damage anyway is a stretch. I think we're okay here. This is Captain Combustible, and we are not safe. But I think we're okay. I think we're gonna win. 3-1 Puff Room. Go. Party time. God damn it. So if we can get a another Frenzy card, it would be way better than the Wizard here. Plant food. Ugh. I'm gonna spend this. We also have rocket in one. Can we get one of our frenzies, please? Can we get him? I mean. Huh? Should I save this for next turn? The chances of top decking one of just a few cards. Garg Launcher is also not active, so I think I'm just gonna spend this and save the second one for next turn. Uh, best card here being this one? Yeah, Wizard Guard kind of sad. <laughs> Acid Rain next turn, for sure. Teleport, Guard Launcher, Acid Rain, something like that. I think we good to go. Teleport. Garglanchwa. Acid. Easy. Yeet. It was Bullseye too. <laughs> Garg Synergy. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the Supernova Garg is good. I don't know. The wizard. Is the wizard being bullseye ever make has it ever made a difference? I don't know, man. Uh the answer is yes already. We'll play one more game here. Then I will get the heck out of here. How good are these against Grass Knuckles? 
I'm just trying to think what I'm doing. If I play this on one on heights, <laughs> that always happens. Then you play one plus nibble on two. Yeah, what was the best? Oh my gosh, no one has an answer to I'm so happy putting the cheese cutters in this. <laughs> no one has an answer, man. They just let him hit face. Three cost thinking cap, I'll take those. Uh, again, this combines with Nibble, which I think is better. If he plays the Triceratops, he's gonna try to counter one of these anyway, so the Nibble cleans it up. Will Nibble or Evaporate next turn? There's another card. The answer is yes, 57% of you voted yes today. 57% of you know how strong the controller Morticia does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, especially because we have the Cryobrain, I'm just gonna pass. We'll probably, like, nibble evaporate. I think we'll nibble... We'll, grow, we'll evaporate this one next turn. We'll Cryobrain here. That's really good. Should I go for thinking cap? Evaporate thinking cap? I can also go one, two. I think I like this play better. Then we can play the envi this plus an environment can answer basically anything he plays on four. So it's kinda nice that he's clogged on heights. It opens this up for us. Why not environment last turn and save the nibble? Maybe. Oh, cool. Well, that's one reason why is to save this to get more value out of this later. I don't, I don't remember why. I'm <laughs> being honest, I'm making excuses. But yeah, that's why, exactly. We're playing around Spike Wheat Sector next turn. Obviously. Uh, one, three, three, four, five, six. I think Thinking Cap is the play. You mostly want to teleport these in. If you play them dry, you just get Shamrock in it. Let's go for the Thinking Cat. I like 5 cost 2 superpowers. It's pretty good. Uh, we can also Extinction Event. Emergency Extinction. We'll see if we get anything that answers this uh, cap. Then we can blow or something. That's so cool! Uh, I think this is more important. We actually got two HG Synergetic cards here. This dying is okay. Die. Uh, we have to, like, you know, he's low in cards. We have to make him not take over the game with Captain Cucumber. Come on. Well, that just dies. We can go, like, five and two, I guess. This is so cool, though. We can go, actually, we need teleports. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Five, one, and we're just committing to the environment. There's a one rocket, but yeah, it's one of many necessary in this matchup. I love how this isn't necessarily indicative of us having one of the other HG environments here, because um, technically you can play it there to get a small buff for one turn. It doesn't make sense, but it looks like a reasonable mistake if that makes sense. So we got a teleport play coming. Hopefully he doesn't play Banana Peel Brainana, because I'm still traumatized from all that. Just published that video lately. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? So... We Extinction Event, we actually gain a Teleport, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna play... There's not a big difference between the 5 and the 6, we also got a Rocket here. Pretty sure it's like this, and we'll rocket the Black IP next turn. Just really want the to keep getting teleports. So we can teleport into this lane. Well, actually, we still have a free one. Yeah, we in good shape, boys. We in good. We're gonna start drawing cards here, too. So it's right. If we want a rocket, it means we have to just play 
I could just play King of the Grill here. It draws a card. You know what? Let's do it. And then we're committing to Rocket. Save the teleport for next turn. <sighs> um, is Nibble better? <laughs> is Nibble... It gains us a teleport and prevents him from getting a card. I, I regret to say that Nibble's the play. Um, it's cool how the, the King of the Grill actually still lives. It's gotta be Nibble there. Smack! It's him not drawing a card, plus we do draw a card. That's a Nibble. This dust dust is Nibble. Dust Nibble. Dust Atta. Yeah, I don't think the, the wizard guard thing is ever, <laughs> it's ever matters. Let's see if he doesn't have a dragon somehow. Actually, the bullseye will win here. I think the bullseye is just gonna win. Uh, who? <laughs> Banana peel! Okay, now it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thanks for moving that. That was really nice of you. Oh, and it's back! And it's back! Okay. So, it's just Rocket. Teleport. Ba, 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 da, 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 ba. King of the Grill. Ah. Got him. King of the Grill victory. What are we going to conjure? What two cards are we going to conjure from these King of the Grills? Oh, we will find out. I was going to think we never found out but because we kill him, but no, we definitely find out. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Look at the value. Okay. All right, you guys. Seven and one. <laughs> Game we lost. The very blast. Man, I don't even know that mushroom strike through. I don't even know that guy was playing. An excellent stream! Smashing Guard is still useless! Probably still his wizard. Honestly, get rid of the wizards and run like some better late game cards. But uh, it's fun to run Garg Synergy. I'm saying I'm gonna say this is more the fun version. But honestly, even just running at that point, like King of the Grill and Kitchen Sink Zombie, and another Garg Launcher, something like that, or Bekasaur. Um, I, I think, though, the thing we really did get from this stream is that running more early game options in a controller Morticia deck really works. If anything, this is better. I, I think uh, with it getting rid of the Garg meme, we could probably even make uh, a really, really top tier deck out of this that doesn't rely on the late game Zombots and really takes over with teleporting and Gargs efficiently earlier on. Uh, so really, really happy with today's stream. Deck did extremely well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.